You know, like being a, a space operator just throughout my career before Space Force, you always heard of General Raymond, uh, always great things. He was like the example of what a leader should be, especially a guardian. And so um, once he became Chief of, Chief of Space Operations and everything, uh, just seeing him, more interviews, more books, more stories, and all that stuff. So meeting him in person, didn't know what to expect, but it, it was great. It was a really good experience. Again, super down to earth, super knowledgeable, very passionate uh, about the Space Force and where we're going and everything. And so it was just good, good to hear from the expert himself. So yeah, it was nice. Even though he's retired, still a very, very busy man. And so when we actually got in, he was coming from a space launch the night prior. And so got up super early to sit down with us. Again, like made time for us and everything. Uh, you could tell he was exhausted. <laughs> so uh, that part was like, trying not trying to chew too much, but we just sat down and picked his brain and uh, it was a great time. Outside of the Space Force, a lot of people in other branches or even civilians understand exactly what the space warfighter is and what we actually do. And so having him break that down in a context that's easy to understand, pretty much um, if we go to war, you know, on the battlefield, in all domains, space is a part of that, of that experience, you know? And so uh, our assets, we enable communication, GPS, navigations, weapon guided munitions, uh, weather, everything is touched by space. And so there, there will never be a war that's not fought with space. And then who's to know where the next war will actually be fought at? It could be in the space domain. And so we as guardians and everyone else have to change that mindset of what is a space warfighter and we are warfighters. I think that's one of the biggest takeaways is that Guardians are warfighters and we do add so much to the fight. We're no longer that support element that I think a lot of people thought of in the past. You know, we're, we're there on the front line. Maybe not in a, in a right there on the line tangibly, but our front line is just 100 kilometers above <laughs> their atmosphere.